You're watching the Geico Summer Series, presented by Axe at the Las Vegas Big Time Finale. And we've got a big time matchup tonight on the campus of Bishop Gorman as Midwest Basketball Club takes on Strive for Greatness here on ESPN. There are nine players in the ESPN 100 in this entire tournament. Eight of those nine are in this game alone. Check out the numbers. We just saw Devin Williams. Everybody else on this graphic, you're going to see here moments away. A few top 10 players, a bunch of top 100 players. Matt Schick alongside Paul B. and Cardi. This is going to be exciting. It's hard to imagine you can find more talent in a grassroots game at this time of the year. Big time finale brings the talent together. Gary Charles organizes this, and teams have brought their loaded guns to the game. Well, we're looking at some of these players, and again, you can recognize at least one of them. There is Bronny James, number six in your program. There's Reed Shepard. Reed Shepard, legacy player, headed to play for Kentucky at Coach Calipari. Reed Shepard plays with a high basketball IQ. He's got a strong lower body and good basketball skills. Offensively, he can be a ball mover or a bucket. He's going to play for Coach Cal at Kentucky. It's a big time recruit for the Wildcats. And then Bronny James, number 39 in the ESPN 100. What do you like about his game? Well, his game is maturing and he impacts winning. You see here the setup cut comes off the fade screen. Watch this textbook jumper. The rotation is perfect. Bronny's jump shot has made great strides. Defensively, he's put a lot of time into the defensive end of the floor. Steps in and takes the charge. And off the flip handoff, he can find the open pocket of space. Makes great decisions. He sees the defender in drop coverage. Goes to his pull-up game, and it's wet. Counted on to score a lot more with this team and his upcoming season than he has in years past, and he has certainly been able to do just that. The starting lineups brought to you by Axe as we look at the Strive for Greatness lineup. Stars galore, Mackenzie Mbako headed to Duke. Mookie Cook, uncommitted top 10 player in the ESPN 100. Robert Dillingham is headed to Kentucky. More on him as we go on. Gabe Cups has verbally committed to Indiana. You see Rayvon Griffith, will play in his hometown of Cincinnati. Reed Shepard to Kentucky. Stars all over the place in this big time tournament finale, living up to its name. Thanks for settling in with us, Matt Schick, along with National Recruiting Director, Paul Biancardi. And this is the Midwest basketball team. This is the team that they play with all circuit long. Strive for greatness. They've got some players coming in at Cincinnati for Wes Miller. Great two-way player. Kenzie Mbako taking on Griffin. Oh, that's Baco good defense. Headed to Duke and the Cincinnati commit. Able to play some defense and flush it the other way. We give him a mention. He D's up Mbako. And then he finalizes a play. He is a tough, hard-nosed two-way player. Number 61 in the ESPN 100. That pass from Brody is knocked away. There by Reed Shepard. Transition. Makai Johnson. Midwest Basketball Club. They come from the Adidas circuit. Shoe companies going toe to toe. Reed Shepard in transition. That's the Kentucky commit, the legacy player. His father, Jeff, played at Kentucky. His mother, Stacy Reed Shepard, played at Kentucky, and he will as well. I love his game, Reed Shepard. Always under control. Reads the court, gives his team what it needs, and they can make the play. Big John Jackson can't connect. But finally, they get that one to fall. That is Mackenzie and Bacco, the Duke commit. You're going to see Midwest basketball really space the floor and spread it out. A lot of cutting, screening. Is the layup. And a cutter. That's high level basketball. You see the rankings. He's number 79 in the ESPN 100. There's Brody. You got to bring the defense against Midwest basketball. They move the ball and they. How about the extra pass? The one more. The spacing. Five out. 
Goffs inside to Johnson, left hand, no! Left hand put back is good. Shooters all over the floor. Donovan Hunter, the Kent State commit, has just entered the game. Shepard. Indian communication. Donovan Hunter being guarded by Bronny. That one slipped away. Dylan Matoyer with the steal. Yeah, good ball pressure by Bronny. Wesley Yates tried to shake Shepard. Cannot. Yeah, a lot of one on one ball right now for Strive. Luki Cook fails in that one on one battle. Reed Shepard the rebound. You know, one on one isolation basketball is really good if you got spacing or if you got shooters. <laughs> Wesley Yates with a good feed. And that's a good finish there from Cook. Look at that hit ahead by Shepard. Come on. Come on! National Recruiting Director Paul Biancardi. Wesley Yates, top 50 player of the ESPN 100 out of Beaumont, Texas. Wesley Yates was 223 pounds in March. He's really went on a conditioning program, nutrition program, down to 205. And lighter and bent there, 29 to 11. Here's Hayes again. Got a commercial next whistle. And that break can't come soon enough for Strive for Greatness. Ed O'Connor, longtime college basketball assistant. Wesley Yates, no. And playing some pickup basketball now. Nice pass. Cross court. Donovan Hunter. Here for Midwest, a complete family affair. Yeah, Jeff was Mr. Basketball in the state of Georgia when he came out of high school. And Reed was Kentucky Gatorade Player of the Year last. But when you get him coaching, he can get loud. Rayvon Griffin for three. Plus, decided to go to Iowa State. Cyclone fans have to be ecstatic about that. Wesley Yates. Oh, yeah. He's hit a couple of threes here tonight. What a stud he is. Picked up some recent offers, Memphis and Clemson. He was at Peach Jam, and so were the coaches. And his game continues to go to a different level. Rayvon Griffin harassed inside. Now strive for greatness is Robert Dillingham, the Kentucky commit, gets the roll. Now an eight-point lead here for Midwest Basketball Club. You knew Strive for Greatness would be able to close that gap. That lead wouldn't last for long. But Griffith is trying to ensure it does. His third three of the night. This whole Midwest team can shoot it from the outside. You have to stretch out your defense. You can't stay in the paint. Yates again. Good strong rebound by Shepard. Shepard with the quick outlet. Oh, and it finds its way to Rebound Griffith, who's having himself a half. Thirteen points in the first half for Griffith. Eight ESPN 100 prospects between the two teams. Five for the team from California. And three. Bird from defense to offense. The ball moves so fast. Cam Grant. Reed Shepard looking inside to Johnson. Oh, what a feed. A little bit of Golden State Warriors going on right now. That is Spread special. you up, cut you to death, or shoot the three. Look at Johnson poking that one through. Now it's Griffith again. Finishes at the rim. He's got 15. And Bishop Gorman. Play it. And for Strive for Greatness, this is no time to be cool. Sometimes talent gets cool, and sometimes when that happens, talent gets embarrassed. Wesley Yates with the left hand. He's in double figures. Followed up a few times. Yeah, Houston is all over him. Kelvin Sampson has done just an amazing job with the Cougars. About another three for Wesley Yates. Go quick. You can't catch up to it on the defensive end. That's why you got to try to pressure the ball. Ronnie, got it. And a commit. Going to play for Mike Woodson. 
Being guarded by Dillingham. Cups, why not? Quick pass corner. Hunter. Thought he was fouled on the way up. He was not. Ronnie James in transition to Cook. They're within 13 again. Nice possession of intense defense. Turning into quick offense. Finds a cutter. Guess who reached Shepard? The passing vision of all the players on Midwest is next level. They put the ball where you're supposed to be. Right in stride for a shot or a layup. Another turnover in this 15-point margin. Reed Shepard. Corner to Johnson. Johnson with the cutter again to Shepard down the lane. Reed Shepard, so fundamentally sound. A couple of cuts in a row and now a steal. It's a two-on-one to Cups for the lay-in. And he just had a couple of great possessions, both offensively and defensively. Strive for greatness. Probably they showed up with these blue jerseys. Looked like they were just a ratty tat type of group. No name right. on the back. They said, we just showed up as Meadow puts that one in. He'll get to the line. And their practice habits, they shine bright during games, don't they? The way they move the ball the way they look for one another, the way they space the floor. Great give and go. There's Brody. Flying high above the rim for the flush. They're within 12. It's only a matter of time before the strive for greatness was unleashed, and we'll see if that's a turning point. Here's Meadow. Dillingham. Oh, acrobatic. No. Meadow, no. Rebound, yes. McKenzie. Ronnie James with the catalyst play. The dunk got his team engaged. L.A. Hayes, yes, big fan. No good for the Cincinnati commit. Here's Bronny James. Look it up. Meadow to his right, Bronny to the rack. No, it's by Baco. But by his dad to just focus in on what's going on on the court. He does a shepherd. But they're going to be in the right place, and they're going to be active and quick with their hands. Love the story, saw it on oh. social media. Look at that reach. Shepard on the receiving end from Makai Johnson. Just backdoor after backdoor. They had an 11 on the table. They doubled down on a layup. Reed Shepard left hand. Oh, it looked like that went off the glass. Might have been goal 10, but Johnson. Glass. Then they sprint back on defense. I mean, they're hungry for a win. Look at this. Behind the back dribble by Bronny goes awry, and it turns into a follow by Cooks. What a great lesson in team basketball. This team is so quick to give it up to each other. The college teams should watch how they play. Social media helps them connect as well. Stay in touch with who's who. Oh, on social media, everybody's your friend. That's right. But those guys have been friends on the court. Cups, Shepard, and James. Dilly. Couldn't get that one to fall, would have pulled it within 10. Reed tries to put it between the legs. Instead, it's Wesley Yates putting it in the bucket. Bronny's been a catalyst in the second half. Yates, can they get a couple of stops and buckets? Oh, my God. I'm telling you, I've watched a lot of guys coach the game. And I learn every time I watch Brooke Cups coach. They heard the names that they were going to play against. They didn't complain big time. But they'll remember this win because of who they played against. We'll finish. And that should do it. Midwest Basketball Club with the 78-67 win in the final game for this group together. And what a way to go out. They went from start to finish, cutting, screening, passing, and making three-point shots. I don't know what the stats were, but they were crushing it behind the arc. A strive for greatness with all the talent that they had. They were playing catch-up the whole game, and they had a little spurt in the second half. Bronny James, Wesley Yates, but it's not enough because that guy, Reed Shepard, Gabe Cups, Rayvon Griffith, they did a tremendous job. Reed Shepard had himself a night. He's headed to Kentucky. Gabe Cups chipped in. He's headed to Indiana. Rayvon Griffith had 15 points. They're at 78 67. Midwest Basketball Club with the win. We'll continue at 11 Eastern on ESPN2. For now, it's Sports Center.